Little roller up along first. Behind the bag! It gets through Buckner! When the ball went through Buckner's legs, it was as if time stood still. The Buckner moment ends the game. So it has the feeling of finality. And Buckner gets not just a disproportionate amount of the blame, he gets all the blame. I don't think that any of us knew at that moment what this would become in terms of symbolism or Red Sox history or Bill's unfortunate history. As time wore on, the media tightened their focus on Buckner. The next day, the media, they asked me, how are you going to deal with this the rest of your life? You lost this game for the team and uh, I go, wait a minute, you know, I didn't lose the game for the team and we haven't even finished the series. Obviously the New England fans were upset. They felt like something got taken away from them and it's almost like they're on the team. And you know, when the team doesn't win, I didn't lose, Buckner lost, you know, point the finger. The question is, why did the town need a scapegoat? In Boston, all of life's disappointments, a lousy job, a bad marriage, a terrible accident, why isn't life better, are all confirmed when the Red Sox lose. Buckner was there to take the heat for us. <laughs>